Point the difference at the final change. GDFL match of the day, round three. It's Eastern Suburbs 10 7 67. And they lead North along 9 12 66. And it doesn't and get much better than this. Well, it certainly doesn't. And it's going to be a fantastic final quarter here for the round three match of the day. And I'm sure that uh, Petey is still sticking with the Eagles. Yeah, I, I, I think they're. Uh Yes, I I'll hold Dick's leg and... Oh. Oh. Hello, this, this this is just not on. There's a little bit of leg holding going on in the commentary position. Yeah, leave it alone. Quickly, Peter, that. yes, you're going for the Eagles. I yes. am going for the and Eagles. And Dick, you're obviously going for the Eagles. Seven, seven points. points. Seven and, points. And, uh, well, we'll see how good they are when it gets closer. Well, we points. will. And we've got Marty Whittison in the ruck for North Geelong up against Andy Reuter. So a few changes by the Magpie Kelly staff. Fowler throws oh. the ball down. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Irving goes through. Lucas can't take the ball with him. Tried to be shepherded by Bailey. He doesn't pick the ball up. Pack develops still in the middle, and there's a player down over the other side. It's yeah, Irving. Boy, says, I'll have a, another crack at this, and we'll restart the quarter. I wasn't quite ready. So he's got the opportunity to get the ball rolling all over again. Just a little bit to North Geelong's advantage. There's the new there's boss of the North Geelong footy club high, down but there. It's uh, Reuter who gets the hit out. Jones over the back, and the umpire said, Jonesy, you're too high, son. So it'll go in the direction of the Eastern Suburbs Footy Club who will put the ball straight into attack through Michael O'Leary. O'Leary across to the half-forward position, out of sight of the ground, and looking at the uh, player there, but it's all North Geelong as they come through there with uh, Joe McDermott. Joe McDermott back towards the centre position of the ground, and Widdison's over there. Widdison I, across to the running player in Daryl Jones, and Daryl Jones, the veteran, comes through half-forward flank, looking for an opportunity, Dick. and he's put it right on the breast of Jamie the Kid Marnie, and the umpire says, hang on, he's going to call the ball Blood back. Roll. Blood rule. See that uh, something happening on the other side there. Yeah, blood rule. Alan Maroney coming off. We saw the two presidents of the clubs there. Well, as long as uh, Keith the, the Scrunch of Jamison. Into the last there they quarter are. and the, the two, two club presidents. presidents. And uh, one with a magnificent haircut and the other one with absolutely nothing. <laughs> it must be a prerequisite at Eastern Suburbs to go to the same hairdresser. Well, we're not allowed to call it Chrome Dome Park if they've got hair. So. It is Chrome Dome Park. <laughs> Well, both the new presidents uh, with a bit of conditioning to go yet to catch up to uh, Kevin O'Leary and that other bloke. Okay. Alan Rundle's got the ball for the Burbs. The Burbs? The Suburbs. <laughs> Kicks it out oh. to where Shane Wimbridge was put under pressure and uh, oh, loses control. Oh, ball. he's kicked it. A ping, and I tell you oh, what. That, that's fantastic. That, that is, is a fantastic goal. Absolutely sensational. And the one thing we're not allowed to do is clap in the commentary position, but... Uh, you do what you like, Dick. You usually do. I got a little bit excited then. Well, they reclaim yeah, the lead Burns. once again, well the Magpies. When you want something tough done, you get the tough bloke to do it, and that's exactly what happened then. And on the Car Ranch final score, final quarter scoreboard, Eastern Suburbs 10-7-67 now trail North Geelong, 10-12-72, five points of difference. And uh, we've been playing just a couple of minutes on the Bannock Burns Sporting Trophies time clock. And it certainly is going to be goal for goal in this final term. And I think Widdison can make a difference because he's got a magnificent spring about him. And uh, he can certainly get up and uh, get the ball away to the centre pretty quickly. Elford at centre half forward for the Magpies and Ray Robertson at full forward as Widdison's been moved into the ruck. Oh, goodness gracious, some experience there on the forward line. OK, give a bloke a rap and he misses the hit out, but never mind. There's uh, players coming from all directions. And the umpire says, not ready yet, I'll have another bounce. Poor old Jones, he just manages to get to his feet. What a magnificent footballer Daryl Jones has been over many, many years in local footy. The ball goes down. Oh, terrible bounce umpire. It favours North Geelong with uh, Troy Rose coming round the back of the pack, scouting beautifully. And he sees Stewie Marnie, who just can't quite take control of the ball, manages to, uh, well, try to keep it in play, and it just goes over the line and out of bounds with a throw-in on the half-forward flank position, eastern suburb side of the ground, as the umpire brings the ball in. Whittison nicely hits it away. A Skinner burns across to Jimmy Naylor. Jimmy Naylor looking for a lead downfield. Sees Robertson. The ball bounces, and it goes behind the players. Robertson... Playing his heart out over there, trying to get possession of the ball. North Geelong get possession again. Picked up by Elford. Elford having a shot towards goal. But uh, it's Reuter there who clears away very oh. nicely. Over to you, Peter Walker. OK, and the ball's pushed back around the wing where Nathan Murray picks the ball up. Uh, takes takes his time, takes his 15. Kicks it up to where Robbie Reuter leads out and uh, sees the ball over the boundary line on the eastern suburbs half-forward flank. Certainly moving the ball well from half back to half forward, the uh, the Eagles. Just going a little bit wide on that occasion. Robbie Reuter couldn't keep it in. And the boundary umpire will be there about next Tuesday. I oh, know he's there now. <laughs> OK, throws the ball in. Lucas 
uh, overruns the ball, but Mick O'Leary uh, grabs hold and uh, has a fresh air kick, tries to put the ball back through. Can't do it. Irving picks the ball up right in deep in the pocket, has a ping at the goals, and it's gone over our, uh, our makeshift point post and uh, out of bounds on the full. And the makeshift po point post has now been dressed accordingly and has a very lovely little white coat on. Uh, there's a line there, but we're not going to use it. <laughs> Kicking out towards the outer side. Daryl Jones. Thank you very much. Long kick down to where Rose uh, punches it over the boundary line. Looks on, like uh, uh, Gary Birch with a Father Christmas suit on, doesn't it? On the far side wing. <clears throat> boundary ump throws it back in again where Lucas is doing uh, the bulk of the ruck work now. Reuter seems to be playing a kick behind the game. Free kick given. Sean O'Leary leads and oh, takes a great mark. mark. Oh, I did not pay the umpire said. Well, that was pretty ordinary. Luke Thompson cleans up, though. Left foot kick, chipping to where McGough stands underneath it, and he, too, is pulled off oh, the ball. Beautifully taken away by North Shalom. Kane Harrington, very reliable in defence for a young fellow. Takes it away, but there's all Eastern Suburbs players here. Good mark. And, oh, uh, pay the mark. will be paid just I think he was going to. to Eastern Suburbs out there. Played on immediately, but it's all North Shalom. Uh, the umpire says play Stevenson on. Stevenson pushes and, the uh, ball in. Mark said to Malcolm Key, as they're raffling in the middle, North Geelong come away with it. You're raffling and, the commentary uh, at the moment, too, you two. exactly right. <laughs> come away with James uh. Cummings again, but Eastern Suburbs take control again, Peter. Stevenson has taken a mark, puts it over to where Mick O'Leary uh, takes the ball on the half-forward flank. Handballs, long handball across to Luke Thompson, who chips it in through the uh, Sanar oh. forward area. Scotty Ferguson drops what he should have taken and the ball's cleared away out onto a very vacant half-back flank. Alfie Delamonica trying to get possession of the ball. Oh, umpire. But he's oh, eyes, come on, eyes, he's umpire. put the whistle away the last five minutes. More, he's not going to pay oh, that. It was absolutely deliberate. He had no intention of retrieving it. But back. he's <laughs> more than happy to see it over the boundary line. Umpire throws in. It's Nathan Murray. Nathan Murray pushes the ball out to the opposition. Rose gets a quick handball away. Under pressure. Oh. I don't know what the umpire is doing. I think he's got no idea. No, he's paid a kick down the field. It's oh, Radford yes. got... Uh, Good decision, uh, Simpson got uh, collected by Radford there, so it's down the field. Umpire Todd being got pedantic. got to go back and kick over your marks, son. And it's got to come back, and it will now, to Vanderberg. So at half back, short kick to Stewie Marnie. Takes a mark in front of Radford. Had Joe McDermott running past. Elects to go back now and take the kick long. Goes towards half-forward Alford. Reuter from behind in front. Wembridge roving beautifully. Cummings. He's oh, out now. Nice He's at 50. Cummings. He measures the pass towards Robertson. And the big man takes a mark on his chest and will line up for goal number two. He's about 35 metres out directly in front. And this and, would put uh, North this Geelong. This make it very interesting. 11 points in front of him. He can put this through the middle. Well, he goes short, and that's oh, loose checking. Oh, oh if Vanderberg can take the mark, well, he can't do so. And he's right in the pocket now against two Eagles. He kicks with his left foot out of bounds on the oh, full. Oh, dear. And it probably would have been better in hindsight for Robertson to go at well, the goal. I can't work it out because he certainly is a great shot for goal, and he was right in front and inside uh, 50. So who could work that out? You can't work him out sometimes, but if it had to come off, we would have said it was great footy. <laughs> So Stefanoski to take the free kick in the last line of defence for the Eagles. And we've been playing... Dick. We've been playing... Stop uh, wobbling your leg. Seven and a half minutes in the final term on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. And Dick, keep your leg Thank you in the one much. spot, please. John Stefanoski, a very long kick up the wing. A oh. big rider there in uh, Murray tries to get the ball, can't do so. Reuter takes control. A quick handball sees the ball pushed up to Robbie Reuter. Robbie Reuter takes a mark on the half-forward flank for the Eastern Suburbs time team. He chips the ball over to where Mick O'Leary takes a mark further deep into the half-forward line. He settles play down looking for a lead. The ball gets kicked in where Scott Ferguson tries to take a mark and can't do so. Well done by North Geelong in bottling it up. North Geelong were outnumbered then and Scotty Ferguson had, had hands on the ball and uh, they were ripped out of his hands and uh, bottled up by North Geelong. Very good defence play. So it's going to be a ball up about uh, 30 metres out from the Eagles goal and it comes towards Jones and also McDermott. It goes to Jones now. He's on to his right boot. Just looks for the boundary line. Will he find it? Irving's there. Can he keep it in? No, he can't do so. And it's outside 50 now. It's going to be a boundary throw in. 
It's 10-12 to 10-7. North Geelong five points in front on the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. And now of course, the Car Ranch run by the great David Primer. Yes, president of the Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club. The ball back towards the boundary line again, so the boundary umpire a bit more work to do. Over on that outer side, half forward flank for the Eagles. Certainly had a lot of play on the other side of the ground today, haven't they? We're just imagining things, but it seems to be over there a lot of times. Another throw in, and Radford roves, but only as far as Graham goes towards Naylor, who's been pretty impressive yeah, this afternoon, impressive. Naylor. He runs on, takes a bounce, tries to draw a player. He does Delamonica, oh. then gives it over to nobody in particular. Stewie Marnie was there. He wraps up He's Bailey, dropped He's the ball. That's oh, a good decision, umpire. You've got to get rid of the ball, son. And a good tackle, and you've got to be careful here. This could be 50. Well, they give it back to Stewie Marnie now. Hutchinson leads for him. So does Alford. And Robertson just lumbers up the ground. He'll go in that direction now. Stefanowski against him. Robertson, oh, big oh, grab. Yeah. And if it's not careful, it'll be 50 metres. At 50 well. metres. And that's a big mark by Ray Robertson. So he well, Let's hope he doesn't short pass this time. I still be, reckon he's a, he's a Monty from there. He'll be kicking the from outside on. 50. It's uh, a... Pretty easy shot for a big bloke like that, I would think. So, Robertson, who's kicked one goal one this afternoon. He comes in. He kicks from 53 and puts it into the 10-metre square. Pack develops front Hutchinson and also Marnie. Kick off the ground by Wembridge is smothered. Falls towards Marnie now. He's wrapped up. Loses the ball. Hutchinson tries to get it away. Running through Radford. Also there for North Geelong. Oh, and got one high, but no free kick coming out from Radford. And goes towards Cummings, and he takes the mark. And he's just at 45 on the boundary line. And the North Geelong player is still down in the middle of the uh, attacking zone for the Magpies. Looks like it might be Stewie Marnie. It is. It is yep. But uh, Cummings now backs himself. Oh, poor kick off the boot out of bounds on the full. And it's going to be a free kick. Shots. John Stefanowski to bring the, the ball back into play. Must come this side of the ground, which is a bit of a crazy rule, I suppose, but uh, makes it easy for a team that are going to try and bottle it up. Uh, does just that, kicks it down towards the wing where O'Leary sets himself, oh, as Rose, does right. Rose. Leaves Reuter, the man behind, and Stevenson, but it's been picked up by North Geelong. Played on, and nah, then the well, umpire has called him back. back. But the umpire couldn't see that advantage. He probably would have been he wants a better Whittison decision. To take control of the ball here, and uh, Marty Whitteson, a veteran of North Geelong for over 10 years now. Been a little stint at North Shore, back to North Geelong again where he belongs, and he fires the ball up towards the full forward position, looking for a big fly here from one of the full forwards. And Joey Marty had a ping at it, but it was dragged off the ball. As Eastern Suburbs weave their way through the pack, and uh, oh, he might have been leg, but no, the umpire says play on. And the Eastern Suburbs comes through centre half back, and they're looking for a player over on the wing here. And uh, Eastern and Suburbs will continue down the ground as they go. Stevenson takes a good, uh, good mark under some pressure. Received that pass from Wembridge. And not getting much assistance here, taking his time. Bombs the ball up to where Mick O'Leary's under it with uh, with company. Ball comes to ground, pushed out. Scotty Ferguson looks to uh, get the ball. North Geelong player there over it, punches it out and gets clear. And uh, the ball is moved back down the wing to where... Uh, good Jamie attempt Hunters. there, good it attempt good there attempt, by uh, yeah. that young fella. Yeah, umpire saw that and young Jamie Hutchinson... Um, He's going to be a great footballer, this boy, in a couple of years' time, although he's showing great credential already. Across to Jones, across to Skinner Burns. Skinner Burns dragged because he didn't get rid of the ball in time. He's having another go again with Sid Jones. Sid Jones is out there, sees a handball out towards the uh, player there in uh, Vandenberg. Vandenberg, oh, they're all going in there now, and Eastern Suburbs, and they're, it's getting tough still. There's no beg your pardons as the enforcer is in there. And they're all having a go. I think the umpire's going to come and ball it up in a minute. <laughs> Dick's just moved. It's just getting a little bit heated too. And there's bodies going in all directions. And he has plucked a free out. And it's gone to Lucas, I think. That's Dave Lucas. Things are getting a little heated. Alfred uh, having a few words to Stevenson. Lucas plays on. Kicks through. Centre half forward. Where a pack flies. O'Leary comes down with the ball. It's smothered off the boot. North Geelong try to clear it. The gain is smothered. Very, very good uh, vision there where the ball's chipped out to where Scott Ferguson gets control of the ball. The tractor. The tractor. Ooh. 
Well done, Stephen away. Simpson. Punched away. So I don't know. It's a good back pocket player, that. Good play by Simpson. Gets it back towards Hannison. Ferguson. Hannison there as well. Keeps his feet. Handball to nobody in particular. The boundary line will win that contest. And the pressure just starting to show on both sides of the moment. With only uh, five points in it. 10-12 North Geelong Eastern Suburbs. 10-7. Five points of difference. And we've been playing uh, 14 and a half minutes in the final term on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. Wembridge gets the run of the ball at half forward, measures the pass towards Robbie Reuter, good kick, and takes the mark on the chest at 50. So this to put Eastern Suburbs a point in front, and this is their second close game of the season. They beat Werribee Centrals by a point in the opening round at Werribee with a kick on the final siren. Reuter goes long with the right boot, and has he brought it back far enough? I don't think he has. One behind... So one goal, two to Robbie this afternoon. And they move to 10-8-68. And they trail North along 10-12-72 on the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. And uh, 15 minutes gone in the final term. Not your most attractive game of footy, but it's nice and tight. You see North along has a kick to himself, brings it back into play again. Down towards looking for a high flies, but there's only little Troy Rose down there, so not a good option because Eastern Suburbs can now go to attack again. Red Reuter and Reuter up towards full forward. That's a that's a goal, and uh, my goodness, has this become a great game of footy? As Terry Redford again there, Jase um, read the ball off the pack, quick hands to Reuter, who, who Redford's put him in the clear and let him have a free shot at goal, and probably about 40 metres out directly in front. And Andy Reuter has put through another goal for the Eastern Suburbs side. Yep, they're 11 8 74, the Eagles. The Magpies 10 12 72. It's two points of difference. The Eagles reclaim the league on the Car Ranch scoreboard in this final term. And uh, Eastern Suburbs' first goal of the final term coming at the 16 minute certainly, mark. Certainly testing both sides out now if they can handle close encounters. Back in the centre, Witterson gets a big thump away, trapped by Irving. And Delamonica in there in support. Alfred's also there. Bottled up secondary bounce. Moroni on. Graham off for North Geelong. So a bounce down again by umpire Flowers. Just on the attacking side for the Magpies. Witterson again to do the ruck work against Reuter. Reuter taps down towards Radford who leaves without it. Kick off the ground by Naylor. Wembridge back there. Oh, oh can't take the mark. And under pressure from Cummings now. Gets his kick away. Murray running at it with Vanderberg who's been influential since coming off the bench. Goes towards the boundary line. Vanderberg, can he keep it in? No, he can't do so. And remonstrating oh, with oh, Danny oh. Irving. And a boundary throw in. Just outside 50 for the Magpies. On the opposite side of the ground where we are again in the half forward flank. North Geelong attacking zone. And the bound round pie will bring the ball back into play with Reuter and Neil Elford up there. And uh, it's a North Geelong player getting it away. And I can't quite pick them up from here. But uh, they're all in there having a dip. And it looks like a North Geelong will just get out of here with maybe a handball. And, uh, oh, they're all over the place. But anyway, it's pretty tough out there. Who can see what's going on? There's players going in pretty hard, particularly good for this time of the day. Just goes to show there's a lot of fitness still and uh, they're wanting to have a dip and they want to have a win and uh, it's going to be brought back into play again. Wasn't that exciting, Commodore? You wouldn't have a clue what I was Tremendous. talking about. So, sorry, <laughs> you've just woken me up. You just hit me then. Oh, dear. Absolutely nothing happened there. <laughs> back towards the centre of the uh, 50-metre arc there. <laughs> Wem Wembridge Coming... has got the ball. He's pushed it over uh, through Shane Bailey. Shane Bailey's kicked the ball long, longer down the wing. Oh, dear. Uh, in front is... O'Leary, Mick O'Leary picks it up, looking for a handball, but uh, decides to take the short chip up to where Lucas was leading for the ball, uncontested, but as uh, the ball's beaten him over the boundary line and we'll have a throw in on the central wing position. Mrs Magpie, just uh, making sure those Cougars went down OK. And uh, so I thought you were going to do something which will remind me to go through McDonald's drive through tonight for Big Mac. <laughs> OK. Bad you throw in. And uh, Wilson coming off the ground with uh, a hand problem as the X-Man will take his place on the arena. And not much happening here at Osmond Park at the moment as the ball is still over the line and out of bounds. We've had about five throw-ins in the last uh, 40 seconds. So it's not exciting footy at the moment, but it is certainly close. It's two points of difference. The Suburbs leading 11-8 to 10-12 North Geelong. And we've been playing 17 and a half minutes in the final term on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. Another boundary throw in Reuter and also Jones coming in with Alford. Secondary tap by Naylor. It's out now to Irving. He takes a bounce, tries to draw Hutchinson, then goes the kick towards Reuter. It's over his head, McDermott. Takes a good oh, mark. 
Just outside the defensive 50. Dick stop throwing your leg around. Goes up towards Oz. Stevenson runs at pace. Yes, he gets it on the second attempt. Goes long. McGough, McGough. standing in the goal square by himself. He's got two with him. If he can get it out of the top to O'Leary and Ferguson. He still runs. Ferguson now can't trap it. Good play by Kane Harrington. He tries to handball it back towards Sim Stephen Simpson. Ferguson's in there. Oh, now he's well out. Done. Great well work, Kane Harrington. Gets it back towards centre half back. Now into the centre. Alford traps Alford. it. Now can turn around and go with the right boot long towards half forward. Burns and Bailey. Burns for North Geelong. Bailey keeps his feet. Can he keep it in? Burns comes at him. Can he get around him? No, he can't. It's out of bounds. And the boundary up pie right there on the money. And great play, Kane Harrington in the back line for the Magpies. And by Jingo, they're having a dip these two. Bailey and Burns, aren't they? There's not much love lost between them. They're tough little nuggets, they are. We see the throw in and uh, it gets effectively taken away by Eastern Suburbs again, Peter. Stevenson. Stevenson gets a short kick up to where the ball has been dropped by Dave Lucas. Uh, comes to ground. Pack forms. It's still being pushed around. No clear possession. The possession might now come through North Geelong, and it has done so. The ball's been pushed out to Moroni. Moroni can't take control of it. Alfie Delamonico, he tries also. No, ball's back to Moroni again. He gets a quick oh, handball yeah. over to Vandenberg. Vandenberg is pulled to the ground and he's probably caught with the ball. Oh. That was a very good decision. He had plenty of time to get rid of it. And Tough. Luke Thompson has uh, taken control of the ball just outside 50. He plays on very quickly where the ball goes down to where McGough drops what he should have taken. But being injured makes it a bit difficult. North Geelong now looking to clear the good ball kick. away. Out, to where, out towards Joan, but Moroni is there. No, it's uh, Shane Burns. Peter and Shane, Shane Burns, Burns looks up towards the ground, looking for another lead, but uh, there's that Reuter fella again. He has been an absolute nuisance for the North Long Footy Club today. He's uh, been in everything. He's a top footballer. There's no doubt about that as he kicks down towards their, their full forward position where players are up. Simpson, a reliable back pocket player, takes it away, but straight back to Eastern Suburbs, Peter. Oh. Shane Evans. Goes to play and gets the ball pushed out of uh, out of his possession. And now it's gone over to Marnie. Marnie plays on, but down through John Stefanoski. He spoils the ball and pulls it to ground with Rob Robinson trying to put a saddle on him. And the umpire says, I'll have it, lads. About 40 metres out directly in front of goal. North Geelong end. So it's Robertson to do the ruck work against Reuter, who's moved down there for the Eagles. Robertson tries to take it out of the ruck. He does so at the second attempt. Goes towards Radford and Naylor. Still inside the 50. Naylor oh. just handballs out towards Hutchinson. He can handball over the top or kick. Well, he ended up doing nothing because Rundle came at him at pace. Gave it to Stevenson. Goes towards the boundary line and the safety of it and finds it at half forward. <laughs> and <laughs> do you want to say that, Dick? No. Okay. I think so. that was just age, like a little bit of inexperience there. He, he had a... Well, he was in two minds. So he didn't know yeah. whether to kick it or handball it over the top. So he's boundary throw in Alford. Reuter gets it towards O'Leary. Can he get around? Oh, he gets one high, and then oh, gets a second one high. Him. That doesn't hurt him. Gee, and uh, it's going to be a free kick to O'Leary. Oh, I can't understand why that wasn't down the ground. He copped the second one, didn't he? Yeah. Pretty undisciplined after play. Yeah, after the umpire, he blown the whistle. You can't cop a second one then. Like at the 20-minute mark of the last quarter, you, you'd think your players would be more disciplined than that. It can certainly turn an umpire against, against the team. Mm. O'Leary... Very ordinary kick, but it finds Andy Reuter, who had uh, just fallen into a, a little gap in the paddock there. Gets a handball over to Shane Evans. Shane Evans and long into the forward Good line. Good mark. But, uh, Thank goodness for that. Very, very strong mark there. Coming from behind was Lucas, but he's been outmarked by uh, the number 43 for North Geelong, and that Robert is Hannison. Hannison. Has had a very good match this afternoon for North Geelong. Goes wide towards Hutchinson and also Wembridge. Wembridge taps it out. McDermott in support of Hutchinson. Can he get free? He can. Come and on, And gives Jamie. it to Hutchinson. Don't start supporting and barracking for them now. You've been okay all day. <laughs> free kick found to Cummings, and he'll take it at half forward. Robertson long, and he go, oh, he puts it up. Oh, coming at pace, Rundle. Naylor there. He's got support. The Eagles, Evans, goes wide with the kick, and it's going to be okay, is it? Cummings goes up. O'Leary stands tall, takes a good mark at half back. Now, all he has to do is uh, just try and look for somebody at half forward. They can slow it down there. Two points in front, 11 8. North along 10 12. Kicks it out to where Terry Radford takes a chest mark on the centre wing on the far side of the ground. They seem to be playing the go-slow tactics now of Essendon, and uh, I hope they're not doing it too early. Radford uh, gets the ball moving again, kicks it uh, long down to the half-forward. Good We're mark. a good mark again by Hannison. Robert Hannison has been uh, really Hello. putting it together for a young fellow. Would you say, Dickie, come out of the under-18s? Under under last year, yep. 
championship yeah. side, 1996. Unfortunately first, injured here, and it looks but, like he uh, may yeah, have done a knee. Like a, it looks like a bad leg injury of some description. So McDermott to take the free kick, uh, in fact, take the uh, the mark from Hannison at half back. Punched away by Roy up. Stevenson in front, gets it. Short little kick back to oh Hannison, and he was able to take it. But McDermott was there in support at half back on the outer side and takes the mark. And umpire, is he going to stop play? No, he's not. Hannison in the hands of the runner, and the trainer's getting over there. So McDermott again from half back goes in towards Naylor who goes up oh, and also yes. Murray, the high flyers can't take the mark. It comes out now and Van in fact it's Burns and Don't keep your mouth shut, Shane Burns. And he he's got the free kick, so that's all he needs. All he, he plays he on today. quickly towards Kane Harrington down from full back and he takes the mark. So all the way down from full back outside fifty metres on the attacking zone. Kane Harrington and Dixon are gone out the back of the commentary box. Fantastic. Bit, bit excited up here, big man. It's so, very exciting. But Kane Harrington coming down from the back line, shooting down towards the full forward zone, looking for Robertson or someone down there. Oh, oh good what mark. A magnificent mark. And James I think that's Naylor. to uh, Jimmy Naylor. What's the sort of mark you want in the pressure time of the day when your club needs a goal to hit the front again? That is gutsy stuff from the young fellow. Recruited from the North Shore Football Club and looking the goods at the moment. So it's two points of difference. Eastern Suburbs 11-8, North Geelong 10-12 on the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. There hasn't been a lot of scoring done in this final quarter. It's been pressure football. And uh, Coach Hodson making his way onto the ground to give instructions. <laughs> <laughs> so... Fatal confusion. Hannison, Hannison is going to be off the ground and not coming through in a change. Then Graham will be on. And James Naylor to come in from 15 metres out directly in front. Oh, it's that? pretty close. Oh. It is extremely close, and he's yes. kicked it. <laughs> That's a goal, and uh, North Geelong have uh, fought their way back again, and they've hit the lead again. And uh, we see now on the uh, car red scoreboard, North Geelong Football Club, 11-12, 78, just in front of Eastern Suburbs, 11-8, 74. And uh, we're around about... Uh, 27 and a half minutes in the final quarter. I was it is about to say the 27 and a half minute mark. <laughs> and of course the time clock is brought to you by Bannockburn Sporting Trophies. David and Pamela Glover. Don't bother going to Bannockburn because the, where are they? They're in Newcomb. Correct. <laughs> Back to the centre. It's 11-12 North Geelong. Eastern Suburbs 11-8. It's four points of difference. Only a couple of minutes to go. And Arthur Hodgson still barking instructions to his team. Alford with a big thump towards centre half forward. Murray comes at pace, gets wrapped up, gets the ball away towards Burns. He'll run through, gets a little tap on towards Wembridge. He controls it, classy, good. O'Leary out now at half forward. He goes long towards Ferguson and McGough. Ferguson takes a mark uncontested. And the big man who's kicked one goal. 11. One goal this <laughs> afternoon he's kicked. And we'll I'll have a chance what, for number two. And... Yeah. You wouldn't want to have your Tats Lotto ticket on, Scotty, though, the way he's been kicking today. I think he's been a, a big plus for the Eastern Suburbs side, but his kicking's let him down. Stephen Simpson and Malcolm Key in a bit of trouble. Simpson's up, but Malcolm Key's still down, holding his knee. And we saw that Hannison was uh, around the other side of the ground with uh, what looked to be a leg injury as well. So, well... Well, they're wasting time. You've got to go to Riverdance, unfortunately, Brett. Well, you'll have to wait until the end of the game. Sorry. What do so you think, Brett? Back it in or back it out, mate? Four points of difference. Ferguson has it. Malcolm Key just being assisted by the trainers and the runner. Brett, and Brett Revere, our uh, roving executive, <laughs> champion cameraman. Has and it's Father it Dick out. Philpott. Father Dick Philpott's prayed for a point. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed to be biased. Oh, yeah, for the last 30 minutes. I think this will go straight over the black dot. So Ferguson comes in. He's kicked one goal. This is for the lead again for the suburbs. He goes in, and, oh, it's very close. The boundary, the goal umpire stands there and says, that's a goal. So That Scott, was straight through the middle. Did not, even, did not even look like it was going to miss. Scott Ferguson's kicked his second, and Eastern Suburbs 12th. And they're 12, 8, 80, and they lead North Geelong 11, 12, 78 by two points. On the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard, we've been playing 29 and a half minutes on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies and time clock. Hasn't it been a great game of footy? There's no doubt about that. Local <coughs> football at its very best at local football's champagne venue. <laughs> We finally picked a good match of the round. Back in the centre, Reuter and Alford. Alford gets a second tap, Ooh. runs through Mark Burns. He's out now. He can go long. He wants to. He goes towards one on two. Murray getting back there in front. Tried to take the chest mark. Couldn't do so. Pack developed. And it's going to be a ball well, up 35 metres out from the North Geelong goal. And 
They'll need one more chance to try and get that lead. They trail by two points, 11-12, Eastern Suburbs 12-8. Umpire with a ball bounced down about 35 metres from the North Geelong goals. Looking for a goal here, North Geelong. Wembridge can't get control of it. Mick O'Leary can. Mick O'Leary clears it, kicking for the open spaces, but there's nobody out there but North Geelong. Can Shane Byrne set something up here? Short pass into where, yeah, well taken by Neil Graham. Graham still probably 70 metres out, looks for a short pass, goes into a vacant space. Oh, Daryl Jones. Darryl Jones. Daryl Jones. Probably <laughs> a, a fitting end to a game, and I think it's all over. Oh, it's a siren. The siren is gone. Daryl Jones has the, fru- has the mark. 35 metres out, very, very tight angle. Mr Dick Philpot, can will you talk us home from here? Well, what can I say? I always dreaded this. If I was ever going to do a commentary, <laughs> and North Geelong needed a kick of the day to, uh, to win a game of footy. But uh, you couldn't get it more difficult position than this. If he doesn't kick it, it's no fault of his. It's a terrible position to be kicking a footy from. But it- uh, if any man can kick it, It'll be Daryl Jones. I couldn't think of anyone better to be having a shot. So Jones from uh, about 30 metres out, right on the boundary line. The, all the Eastern Suburbs boys are standing there giving them ras- giving him the raspberry. They're two points up. He needs to kick the goal. He comes in now. And oh, he's missed everything, I think. He has. And they've won by two points. The final score, North Geelong, 11-12-78. Eastern Suburbs, 12-8-80. A two-point win for Eastern Suburbs. And Dick is shattered. No, I'm not. No, I've seen a great game of football today, and uh, it's one of those days where you say you feel like you've uh, you've been out and seen local football at its very, very best. There had to be a winner. There's got to be a loser, and unfortunately, not too long this time. Won't do them any harm. They'll, uh, they realise now that uh, you know they can bounce back from here, and uh, it was no disgrace to be beaten by this very good combination. Because Eastern Suburbs Footy Club have always been a, a very strong contender whenever they played football. So. It was a great win to Eastern Suburbs, no doubt about that. So the final score, North Geelong, 11, 12, 78, Eastern Suburbs. Two-point winners, 12, 8, 80. The goal kickers for the Suburbs, three to Sean O'Leary, three to Craig McGough, two to Andrew Reuter, and two to Scott Ferguson, including the last goal that took the Eagles to the lead once again, and singles to Morris Stevenson and Robbie Reuter. The goal kickers for North Geelong, two to Robert Hannison, two to Mark Burns, and singles to Ray Robertson, Daryl Jones, Neil Graham, Alan Maroney, James Naylor, Malcolm Key, and Troy Rose. So, well, what a game of football. Fantastic ever from both sides. And the Eagles getting up by two points in the final analysis, 12-8 to 11-12. Some of the better players in the final term, Dick for North Geelong. And, uh, well, we'll let you have a little bit of a think about your 3-2-1. and one. So just some better players, firstly, for North Geelong in the well, final term. Well, I've looked uh, in the last term there, a couple of players stood out. Neil Graham stood out. Uh, Jimmy Naylor stood out. Uh, Martin Whitteson, when he went into the ruck, I thought he made a bit of difference to the side with some of his big hit-outs and his magnificent spring. Um, Neil Elford, of course, is always in there having a go. Um, Troy Rose, gee, you know, what a little gutsy player Troy is. He's into everything. Um, well, you know, they all had a bit of a dip in the last quarter. And as I said, it was one of those games where there's got to be a winner, there's got to be a loser. And North Long, unfortunately, didn't quite get the points. But uh, they certainly will be uh, proud of their efforts today. And Peter, quickly, just uh, some better players in the final quarter for Eastern Suburbs. Yeah, again, I thought uh, Alan Rundle played played very, very, very serviceable across the back line. Luke Thompson chimed in, did some good things, as did Danny Irving. Uh, Nathan Murray uh, come into the game, didn't do much early, but uh, he's a fairly big lump of a lad and put his body on the line in that uh, the last quarter and a half and uh, is worthy of a mention through the last part of the game. Uh, also, Shane Wembridge. Runs through the pack, does a very, very good job. Mick O'Leary chimed in in the last half uh, of the game and I thought uh, contributed well. Uh, Mal Stevenson, he too uh, played very well in the in the second and fourth quarter. And uh, even Alf- Alfie Delamonica. Also Andy Reuter, he, uh, he was more dominant once Robertson went out of the ruck and went to full forward because I think Skoko came off the ground with, a, with an injury and it, it left North Geelong a little bit lacking in, in height, so they put Robinson down, which did pay dividends for the north side. Uh, it gave him a focal point, but it took, took the heat out of the centre of the ground and it, it put uh, the likes of um, I can't even, Neil Alford, who, who I thought had played well out of the centre, put him into the centre on, on Reuter and, and he probably lost that battle from there on. 
Uh, but they're the guys that I thought have played well. Yeah. Okay, well, we're getting the wind up already from Brett because he's got to get to Riverdance tonight. He's got an important date with his boyfriend or something. Quickly, Dick, uh, your three, two, and one for the Beaumont's Pies guest video player of the day. You have no idea, do you, really? So, Peter. <laughs> okay, my three votes went to. I'll give three to Danny Irving. I thought he contributed for the whole four quarters. Probably drifted away in that in the last quarter there, but uh, for overall overall effort and, and he fired Eastern Suburbs up when they were six goals down. So my three goes to Danny Irving, Troy Rose from the uh, the Magpie combination. He too was a real little go getter, real little ball biter, and he? he just gets in there and has a real dip. And I thought thought he did very well. I, I was a bit disillusioned there when when the coach took him off for a, a little spell maybe he'd said something wrong or something but I thought he got he got my two votes and as for the uh, the third place uh, Andy Reuter although beaten by Ray Robinson in the first quarter and a half his presence around the ground he is a big guy and he doesn't mind putting his body on the line maybe he's just got to curb his temper a little bit so I'll give my one vote to Andy Reuter. So Danny Irving three Troy Rose two and Andy Reuter one for Peter Walker's three two and one this afternoon. Dick? I would have probably said all of that except I might have put Ray Robinson in as a one vote, I think. So you're going Irving three? Yep. Rose two? Rose two and uh, Ray Robertson one. Ray Robertson one. Okay, well I've given uh, three votes to Dave Lucas. I thought his game across half forward and also when he went into the ruck was uh, very good. He's a very good mark and will be a great acquisition back at the club this season for Eastern Suburbs. Robert Hannison, two votes. Uh, I thought he was a very good player and he will only get better. Hopefully that injury that we saw him go off with in the last quarter is not too serious. And I've given one vote to Terry Radford from the Eastern Suburbs Footy Club. I thought his game through the midfield was very good as well. Well, that gives us Danny Irving as the best player on the ground this afternoon. So he gets the Beaumont's Pies Guest Video Player of the Day award. Troy Rose gets the second vote and... Dave Lucas gets the one vote. So the three, two, and one, Danny Irving gets three. Troy Rose, the two, and Dave Lucas, the one vote for the three, two, and one. Well, boys, it's been a fantastic afternoon. Eastern Suburbs 12 at 80 have defeated North Geelong 11, 12, 78. Dick, thank you for your efforts this afternoon. It's been a pleasure, Jason. It's uh, a lovely insight to be up here in the commentary box with such a famous person as yourself. <laughs> you are absolutely <laughs> full of magpie, aren't you? Full and Peter, magpie. once again... Yes, thank mate. You. I'd like to thank uh, Fano and, and Ronnie for, for giving us the opportunity. We did nominate this game we did. a long time a long ago. A long time ago, months ago, because I think we, we had a bit of a feeling it'd be a cracker, Jack. We picked and this. It, we picked this. <laughs> and it hasn't let us down, Dick, has it? No, it has not. It's been a great day, great venue, great game of footy. Well, see you boys throughout the season in 1997. Uh, once again, the Suburbs, two point winners in round three GDFL match of the day. Eastern Suburbs 12 8 have defeated North Geelong 11 12. Back with all GDFL action next Saturday afternoon on Guest Video.